I'm entering Rogue Ale's Paint the Can Dead contest. And first, I need to go find my canvas, which is a beer can. And I'm hoping that I can find it at one of these delis in Brooklyn, because if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, that was a big fail. Not a single can could be found in Brooklyn. So I went to Instagram and I asked you guys if you knew where to find one or if you had one and you could send it to me. And luckily, one of you had it. So big, huge thanks to Alicia for sending me this can. I now am the proud owner of a dead guy can. So let's get this painted. During the can search, I worked on the design because I figured I'd be cutting it pretty close to the deadline. This is gonna be a two color stencil that I cut out of adhesive vinyl. This is by far the most intricate and difficult stencil I've made because everything is just so tiny. It took me about two hours to weed everything out in total and just have them ready for paint. Vinyl works extremely well as a stencil because you can get it to stick to the surface and you can get really clean lines that way. In standard red halftone fashion, we're going with black and red for the colors. I'll be using a black halftone to mix this one up and also because it works a lot better for the stencil. This design is inspired by Papel Picado, which is the Mexican folk art of cutting elaborate designs into tissue paper. I went in this direction because Dead Guy Al was created as part of the Day of the Dead celebration in the early 90s, according to Rogue Al's website. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought. And if you want to see weekly art, check me out on Instagram. I'm at Red Halftone, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.